Project Surge, she got to learn about some of the work being conducted at the Manitoba Government uh, Material Distribution Agency, also known as the MBA Warehouse. In the fall of 2013, Deborah was hired to work on a casual basis. But casual actually meant about 25 hours per week working at MDA. She has been there ever since, and Deborah is going to tell you a bit about her work. Deborah, please come up and tell us a little bit about yourself and your work. I also understand that once you are finished, Peter Roberts, logistics coordinator at the Material Distribution Agency, will come and say a few words as well. Is that okay? First of all, I'm very grateful for being here because this is such a such an honor to have to represent my life after all what I went through as a baby. So to start off with, I was born in in in, in Argentina in a tiny town called Tucumán. I moved to Canada when I was only 10 years old. Back then, it was we started. We came to Canada in June 15, June 12. So it was like the beginning of the year, and I started going to a camp. So on that camp, after that camp, I came to. I went to a school called Freya Camp in Grade Five. And back then, I didn't know how to speak English. I barely knew how to even talk to someone. So all I knew was like very, very little words. I had some, it was very hard for me to, to deal with any, anything at that school because, again, I didn't know how to speak. And um, I was also very shy. I didn't want to socialize to anyone. I guess it was because that's just part of me. I just didn't want to go with someone first. I was only 10 years <laughs> Every day, little, little by little, I started to learn how to speak English. 